It is a while since I've had a look at one of these generic Chinese streetlights and having looked at some British ones recently I thought let's take a look at one of these again and see if anything has changed. So visually nothing has changed but I'm wondering if they've gone from the electronic driver to maybe having a driverless cob for the LEDs. Uh, first test we shall do in this it's an important test, and every single other one I've looked at so far I think has failed this test, is the continuity of earth to the case. So let's go from the earth wire, let's untangle the leads, and go from the earth wire here onto exposed metal like there. It's earthed. Is the earth properly connected, or is it just luck that it's earthed? That's what it's been like in the past. This one was supposed to be rated 30 watts. It was a very modest £22 shipped all the way from China. Let me bring in the anti versus the hoppy. The anti is sometimes better at lower loads. This is supposed to be a 30 watt street light. I don't have an earth connection here, so I'm just going to have to go live and neutral and leave the earth floating anyway, but it would normally be floating these things. Let's see, this could get bright. Cold white, very harsh cold white. Um, for the 30 watts, it's 26.3 watts. Power factor 0.58, that suggests an electronic driver. Uh, 183 milliamps at our supply of 244 volts at the moment. Okay, seems to be holding the 26 watts well. Radio, let's open it. So... Let's get the back off this. Something odd about this. It just doesn't feel strong. We shall check that, see what metal it is. But we take the little control. Shall we say the gear tray cover off? Oh, I should have mentioned. I should have measured that, in fact. Let's see what size pole it's designed to go on. Uh, 45 apparently, 45 millimeter, give or take a bit of force. And it's got the two locking screws for gripping onto that pole. Okay, back to the task in hand, which was removing this. Oh, it does uh, give the specs 30 watt, and it is quite a cold uh, 6500 Kelvin. These have been around for ages. Some of the earliest videos I made on my channel were with these, I'm sure. And they've not really risen that much in price. I have ordered a 50 watt one, which is supposed to be physically bigger, and it was more expensive. It was closer to about £45. See, this is flimsy. Oh, there's the driver. There is an earth. Actually, physically, it's not... Oh, no, it's loose. It's a mixture of glue. Can it be tightened, or have they just not sunk that hole deep enough? No, it's, it's, an, it's a wibbly-wobbly. It's better than nothing, but it's not a great earth. Where is a magnet? It's steel. That's not going to be great. That's going to rust, isn't it? While we're on about that, what about the front plate? It's also steel. That's annoying. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they'd uh, make them out of a suitable alloy. I'm not sure if the previous ones were. I could find them, maybe. This is hex screws. Uh, what have I got? I've got this. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I'll make a guess it's going to be this one. Oh, this is one of these sets of screwdriver bits that you can't get your fingers in between them. That'll do. Let's put this off. So four screws. I also want to jerry-rig everything, the glass, give it a nice scratch and see if it is glass. Maybe even give it a tooth test. Chap your teeth in it and see if it feels soft and plastic or if it feels hard. It'd be nice if it was glass. These things don't tend to, well, you can tell from just basically from tilting it about that I think it fires some of the light sideways, but it's not got it's not got the same control that uh, traditional street lights have. Where a lot of the light, well, I say traditional, the modern LED ones. The traditional modern LED ones. Okay, there's a silicone gasket. There is the lens. Is this glass? It's hollow. 
it's glass. That's nice. Off comes this and it's just a standard. Oh, I tell you what is different. Uh, one moment, I'm just going to grab, uh, I'm going to grab a couple of LEDs. One moment, please. So I'm pretty sure that the LED that used to be used in these was this type and they're notorious for the bonds actually coming off at one end on the bus bar. Uh, they moved on to the flip chip style. This is the 100 watt style LED flip chip 10 in series 10 parallel, which in a way, if you put it into this one, it would spread the load over a larger area. It would be less dissipation in the chips. But I'm also wondering if this would actually accommodate that tapers off at the end. Would it still accommodate? I can whip it out and see if it would accommodate a, one with a driver on board so that technically speaking, all, all you'd need is a live and neutral coming straight through to this. Let's actually lift this out then. I like the way they've put a bit of strain relief, the silicon on there. Oh, you know what that is. That is because they're putting this metal cover over it. It's a bit of insulation. I wonder how that would go with the... Um, is this going to come out? I may need to use a better screwdriver for this. Hold on. Something more suited to those screws instead of my one size fits all screwdriver. Will there be heat sink compound under this? In another of these videos, I did change the LED to a um, Burple, one of the grow light type LEDs, just because I could. And once the 50 uh, LED light arrives, I'm intrigued. Oh, you know what? I don't think that is going to work. I was wanting to pop in this LED, but I don't think there's any hope of that ever fitting in there unless the other light is physically bigger, which I don't think it will be. That's a shame. I can always improvise. I'll maybe see if I can get one of these in the sort of ultraviolet effect instead. So let's pop this out. It's just held on as self tappers. Is there going to be thermal compound? There is. It's a bit sticky and slidey. Is it going to be the grey stuff? I think it is the grey stuff, yes. Oh, I wonder what that little uh, channel there is for. What if I experimentally just laid this in? Yeah, I don't think it's really touching the end. So you could put um, a daub a driver on board, LED directly in here. Uh, that might cause problems with metal. No, I don't think it would. Um, not sure. But that option is there. I wonder why they've not done that already. You'd think they'd be wanting to uh, get rid of the driver. Because bear in mind that with the, the electronic driver in here, when this fails, it's going to do that sort of like pulsing thing. It, they usually do this type. Whereas if they went with the driverless LED, what happens when they fail is they'll arc internally, burn up, and then they'll kind of go open circuit. But there is a possibility with these ones that they can actually shunt onto the case and that could cause earth problems. So maybe there's a reason they've st stayed doing this. But that is it. That It's not changed much. It's a nice, it's a minimalist, but it's a fairly solid feeling casting. It's a shame about not putting a proper, like, alloy cover over this they've used this sort of um rustable steel one and likewise the bracket in the front of this but other than that um particularly if it was sat up at an angle like this so that any water that built up in it drained out this hole it it's not common for uh street lights to be completely sealed because water always gets in it's better to just provide a, a way for the water to get back out and i'd guess with these it would be held up at an angle so that you know water did uh, drain down and it's less likely to actually go down into the LED area. But that is it. Uh, shame they've done, you know, it, all it would have taken was a washer or two or just maybe drill that hole a bit deeper or use a shorter screw. But, you know, it's a step in the right direction for the earth bond, but they've not actually gone all the way. But there we have it. The uh, cheapy Chinese LED streetlight. It's not evolved too much, but there are some changes from the original ones I looked at. And I suppose ultimately, if you're looking for a fairly cheap yard light that can mount in a pole or a suitable bracket onto the wall, then something like this might actually be quite useful.